Hey everybody, it's Miss Lori. Thanks for listening this week. Do you ever have certain things that you really like to look at? Things that are pretty to you? I don't know why, but I love um, these kind of angels, angels, willow tree angels. I just love looking at them. They're so simple and pretty. And this one I especially love because she has a seashell. Reminds me of the beach. But they're just something that I like to look at. Um, I'm sure there are things you like to look at too. Maybe it's a sculpture. Maybe it's um, light and color and shapes. We're lucky that with our eyes, we can see that. Now, my eyes, I have to have glasses to help me, but I still am so thankful that I can see things. We see faces of our families and our friends, our pets. We see trees and flowers and the ocean and mountains. And there are just so many wonderful things that we can see with our eyes. But now there is a different way of seeing that has something to do with us feeling and understanding. Have you ever heard the phrase, or maybe you've used it yourself, oh, I see that, or oh, I see. You know, when we say that, we don't mean we see with our eyes, but that's where our, we are understanding and our feeling. We're seeing with our mind and our heart. Today's Bible story is, has a little bit about that kind of seeing in it. It's from the book of Mark, chapter 10, verses 46 through 52. And it's about a man who was blind. And he would sit by the side of the road and hope that people passing would give him money. So he was kind of begging because he had no way to earn money being blind. We even know his name in the story. It's Bartimaeus. And when he heard that Jesus was in the crowd that was coming by, he got really excited and he began to shout, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Have you ever had trouble getting someone's attention? Maybe your mom and dad are busy doing something else at the time and you keep going, mom, mom, dad, dad, but they're not listening right at the moment because they're concentrating on something else. Or maybe there's just a lot of commotion or activity going around and people can't hear you. And you feel like you need a megaphone or a microphone to go, hey, hey, I'm talking to you. Listen. Well, I think that's probably part of the way Bartimaeus felt. And besides him shouting to Jesus, people were trying to get him to be quiet. They didn't want the old blind beggar bothering Jesus. So they were like, be quiet, be quiet. Don't bother him. But he kept saying, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And you know, Jesus heard him and he stopped and he said to him, what do you want me to do? And he said he wanted to be healed of his blindness. And you know what Jesus then said? Your faith has made you well. And immediately he could see. The man, Bartimaeus, received the miracle of healing because he could also see, he couldn't see with his eyes, but he could see in that different way. He understood the power of God, and then he worked hard so that Jesus could hear him. He didn't see with his eyes, but he understood with his mind and his heart. So there are many things that we can take and we can learn from that story, right? That we can see from that story, not necessarily with our eyes. First, that was that in the midst of all the noise and activity and commotion, Jesus heard the blind man. He heard him calling out to him. And you know, Jesus, God, his Father, they hear us too when we call out. Anytime, anywhere, no matter what's going on, they hear us. They are listening for us. So we need to work and make sure that we're talking to them and letting them know our thoughts, our feelings, what we need. And then the other thing is that seeing in a different way. Bartimaeus understood that. And we can too. When we, think, when we see in a different way, we can believe. We can understand that God loves us no matter what. And that he is with us always. So remember, let's see beautiful things with our eyes. It's wonderful and be grateful that we have the eyes that work, but also let's focus on seeing things in a different way, not with our eyes, with our minds and our hearts. And then continue to work on letting God hear us, letting Jesus hear us. 
and knowing that they are there ready to listen. All right, let's pray together. I'll say it and you can repeat it after me. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for all the beautiful things we can see with our eyes, but also for all the different ways we can see and understand your goodness and love for us. Thank you for always hearing us when we speak to you. Amen. All right. Thanks for being with me. Thanks for listening and have a great week. Bye-bye.